Hawks, eagles, kites, and allies are all types of birds of prey, which means they are carnivorous and hunt and feed on other animals. Hawks are a broad term that includes many different species of birds of prey. They are typically medium-sized, with sharp talons and hooked beaks, and hunt a variety of prey, including rodents, small mammals, and other birds. Eagles are large birds of prey known for their powerful talons and impressive size. They are apex predators, meaning they are at the top of the food chain in their ecosystems. Eagles primarily feed on fish and other small animals, but they are also known to hunt larger prey such as deer and other mammals. Kites are medium-sized birds of prey that are typically found in open habitats such as grasslands and savannas. They are known for their long, pointed wings and graceful flight patterns. Kites primarily feed on small mammals, reptiles, and insects. Allies are a group of small to medium-sized birds of prey that includes falcons, merlins, and kestrels. They are known for their speed and agility, and they often hunt by diving at their prey from above. Allies primarily feed on small birds and mammals, and some species are known to hunt insects as well. Hawks are birds of prey of the family Accipitridae. They are widely distributed and are found on all continents except Antarctica. That's correct? Hawks are a diverse group of birds of prey that belong to the family Accipitridae. They are found in many different habitats, including forests, grasslands, deserts, and wetlands, and are known for their sharp talons, powerful beaks, and keen eyesight. There are around 270 species of hawks, and they are found on every continent except Antarctica. They range in size from small species such as the tiny hawk, Accipiter superciliosus, to large species such as the harpy eagle, Harpia harpija. Some of the most well-known species of hawks include the red-tailed hawk, Buteo jamaicensis, and the cooper's hawk, Accipiter cooperi, which are found in North America, and the African fish eagle, Haliaetus vocifer, and the Marshall eagle, Polemetus bellicosus, which are found in Africa. The subfamily Accipitrinae includes goshawks, sparrowhawks, sharp-shinned hawks and others. This subfamily are mainly woodland birds with long tails and high visual acuity. They hunt by dashing suddenly from a concealed perch. Yes, that's correct. The Accipitrinae subfamily of birds of prey, also known as accipiters or true hawks, includes species such as goshawks, sparrowhawks, sharp-shinned hawks, and others. They are mainly woodland birds and are characterized by their long tails and high visual acuity, which make them well suited for hunting in dense forests. Accipiters are known for their hunting style, which involves dashing suddenly from a concealed perch to surprise and catch their prey. They are incredibly agile and have long, narrow wings that allow them to maneuver quickly through trees and underbrush while hunting. Accipiters primarily hunt small to medium-sized birds, but they may also prey on mammals, reptiles, and insects depending on their specific diet and habitat. Accipiter Group The accipitrine hawks generally hunt birds as their primary prey. They are also called hen hawks or wood hawks because of their woodland habitat. The subfamily Accipitrinae contains Accipiter. It also contains genera Micronissus, Gaber goshawk, Eurotriorchus, long tailed hawk and Megatriorchus, Doria's goshawk. Malirax, chanting goshawks, may be included in the subfamily, or given a subfamily of its own. Erythrotriorchus, the red and chestnut-shouldered goshawks, is traditionally included in Accipitridae, but is possibly a convergent genus from an unrelated group, see Red Goshawk Taxonomy. Buteo Group The Buteo Group includes genera Buteo, Parabuteo, Geronoetus, and most of Leucopternus. Members of this group have also been called hawk buzzards. 6. Proposed new genera Morphnarchus, Rupornus, and Pseudostor are formed from members of Buteo and Leucopternus. 7. The Buteogallus group are also called hawks, with the exception of the solitary eagles. Buteo is the type genus of the subfamily Buteoninae. Traditionally, this subfamily also includes eagles and sea eagles. Lerner and Mendel, 2005, proposed placing those into separate subfamilies, Aquilinae, Haliaetinae, leaving only the Butionin hawks, buzzards, and Butioninae. Intelligence. In February 2005, 
Canadian ornithologist Louis Lefebvre announced a method of measuring avian IQ by measuring their innovation in feeding habits. 8. Based on this scale, hawks were named among the most intelligent birds. The hawk is very intelligent towards humans and other hawks. Eyesight. Hawks, like most birds, are tetrachromats having four types of color receptors in the eye. These give hawks the ability to perceive not only the visible range but also ultraviolet light. Other adaptations allow for the detection of polarized light or magnetic fields. This is due to the large number of photoreceptors in the retina, up to 1 million per squareum in Butio, compared to 200,000 in humans, a high number of nerves connecting these receptors to the brain, and an indented fovea, which magnifies the central portion of the visual field. Like most birds, the hawk migrates in the autumn and the spring. Different types of hawks choose separate times in each season to migrate. The autumn migrating season begins in August and ends mid-December. It has been studied that there are longer migration distances than others. The long-distance travelers tend to begin in early autumn while the short-distance travelers start much later. Thus, the longer the distance the earlier the bird begins its journey. There have been studies on the speed and efficiency of the bird's migration that show that it is better for a hawk to arrive at its destination as early as possible. 12. This is because the first bird that arrives has the first pick of mates, living area, food, and survival necessities. The more fat a bird has when it starts its migration, the better chance it has of making the trip safely. Curlinger states that studies have shown that a bird has more body fat when it begins its migration, before it leaves, than when has arrived at its destination. 13. One of the most important parts of the hawk's migration is the flight direction because the direction or path the bird chooses to take could greatly affect its migration. The force of wind is a variable because it could either throw the bird off course or push it in the right direction, depending on the direction of the wind. 13. To ensure a safer journey, a hawk tries to avoid any large bodies of water in the spring and fall by detouring around a lake or flying along a board. The red-tailed hawk is the most common hawk in North America. Past observations have indicated that while hawks can easily adapt to any surrounding, hawks prefer a habitat that is open. Hawks usually like to live in places like deserts and fields, likely as it is easier to find prey. As they are able to live anywhere, they can be found in mountainous plains and tropical, moist areas. Hawks have been found in places such as Central America, the West Indies, and Jamaica. Starting in the hawk's early life, it is fed by its parents until it leaves the nest. 15. The young hawk, while still in its fledgling phase, will leave its nest as early as six weeks old. Once the bird is older, it begins to hunt. The hawk kills its prey with its talons as opposed to other predator birds, such as the falcon. The falcon uses its talons to catch the prey but kills the small animal with its beak instead of its talons. Citation needed. The hawk's preferred time for hunting is usually just before nightfall when daylight lessens. 12. Although the hawk is known for being a violent predator, some are gentle and quiet. Citation needed. When it flies, the hawk flaps its wings rapidly, and then uses that momentum to glide smoothly and gracefully through the air. 14. The idea of flocking during migration has been closely analyzed, and it has been concluded that it is a commutative tool used by birds and other animals to increase survival. It has become clear to observers that a hawk traveling in a flock has a greater chance of survival than if it traveled alone. Another word used in the United States